What's going on guys, today I bring you a new Fantasy Draft Challenge video, and this one we're only drafting players from playoff teams. Now, that does include teams that are eliminated, like Tampa Bay for instance. Uh, so for this, I'm thinking will probably be San Jose, they're my pick out of the West. And with Tampa Bay being gone, I guess they're my new pick to win the Cup. Um, also guys, I want to apologize for no videos last week, I was in Vancouver, and then had a busy weekend, so just uh, couldn't get any up for you guys. But um, like I said, obviously doing the Fantasy Drafts will have that turned on. Okay, so we're not the Fantasy Draft here, as you can see, currently picking 24th, but I'm thinking we'll probably hit random like three times and then go from there. Um, you might notice too, first pick Tampa Bay, second pick Columbus. I thought that was kind of funny, but um, anyways, like I said, we'll hit random three times here. So one, two, I don't even know where we are, 12, three, 16. Okay, so that's actually not too bad at all. That puts us like right in the middle, which I mean, obviously you would like McDavid, Crosby, or whatever at the top of the draft, but basically never having to wait 60 picks either is also very solid. So. Let's see, Barco just got taken, Pasternak, Peterson, Marner, obviously new roster update happened, so that's probably going to change the fantasy draft a bit. Crosby went all the way to 9, 93 overall, but he is a bit older. Kucherov at 7, I've seen him taken as high as, I think, 1st, or, no, McDavid always goes 1st, I think maybe 2nd though for Kucherov. Goudreau is pretty high there, Ranton and Matthews, Hedman, uh, so teams want defense, I guess, D Dowdy, and then obviously McDavid did get taken 1st overall. So. A lot of really good players to take here again. As long as they're on a team that made the playoffs, we can take them. Ovechkin seems like the obvious pick. Ovechkin's going to score for us. We can't take a guy like Kane. We could take Malkin. Uh, most of these guys, honestly, we can take. But yeah, I'm going to take Ovechkin. I take the best player available. He scores like crazy in the sim. Should be a good pick. Moving on to our second round pick here, guys. Dubois just got taken there by the Islanders. Uh, so Tavares, I mean, him setting up OB would be pretty nice. Bergeron gets a very good like two-way center. Brent Burns on defense would be solid. Uh, Drew obviously not available to us. Just want to take a quick look at the goalies, see if there's any elite ones available. Gibson, I mean, Rene's 35. He'll probably be available late. Um, actually, Gibson we can't even take because they didn't make the playoffs. So I'm probably going to hold out and hope to get Rene like round six, round seven. Uh, so right here, I think we go Bergeron. Same bringing as Tavares. We're super good defensively. Or we could go Burns. Honestly, maybe we go Burns to give us like that number one D-man. I feel like there's more number one centers than number one defensemen available, so... That's why I wanted Burns there. Also kind of cool hiding on the Sharks. Uh, Detroit just took Freddie Anderson. So, like I said, round five, round six. Should be able to get Rene. Bergeron's still there too. Okay, so that worked out really well. Obviously, almost took him last round. Definitely going to take him there. So, we have Ovechkin's going to score a ton. Bergeron's best two-way center. Burns our number one defenseman. Um, like, we're looking pretty good. Demko there. Forgot he went up to an 80. Uh, pretty solid pick there by the Islanders. I'm probably going to lower his potential though uh, when I do my whole roster update. Um, so Bufflin we could take, 87 overall, It'd be a sick top pair, him and Burns. Although, two righties, I don't know. Um, Johansson, give us like a good second line center. Ghost we can't take, same with Yandel. Shen's not bad. Krug would be good too. Honestly though, probably just take the best player available, which would be Dustin Bufflin. So we'll go with that. I mean, him and Burns, pretty sick top pair. And we're now in round number five. I just checked, Rene's still available. I'm going to hope he's there at round six, and I think that's where I'm going to take him. Right now, I'm going to add another shark though, Joe Pavelski. Um, we can play him as our second line center, or we can play him on the wing. Um, obviously pretty versatile. He's got really good faceoffs too, 85. Honestly, him and Bergeron is our number one and number two center. Like, we should have one of the better faceoff percentages in the league. Um, so let's check right now. Is Rene there? He is there. Round six. Could risk it, except if we do, we can't take Longfist, can't take Luongo. We'd have to go Martin Jones, at which point we're probably going to wait a while. So maybe we risk one more round for Rene, just because I think it's worth it if we can get a good player here. Can't take any of the top three. Could take Vlasic, another Shark. Uh, Krejci would also be solid. Stahl can't take. Kovalchuk can't take. Bailey would not be too bad. Arvidsson, he's 25 at least. I think Vlasic will be available longer because he's older there. So let's go Arvidsson. Give us a nice young winger. And then I think next round, Rene. And then potentially the round after that, Edward Vlasic. If he's still there, of course. Um, I wanted Rene in the sixth. Except I think that might have been a tad early. So let's see. If he is still there in the 7th, uh, Edward Vlasic's gone, and Rene's gone. Alright, so hopefully uh, Arvidsson plays well for us. Oh wow, Jones is gone too. I guess just a bunch of goalies got taken. Um, we can go Halak, I guess, but it's not worth taking right now. So that's the thing. Sometimes in Fantasy Draft, you know, you take risks. Probably should have taken Rene. 90 overall. Um, that would have been huge for us. I mean, Char is still there. Char would really help out our D. 85 overall. Highest rated player available to us. I think, yeah, we'll take Char. I mean, he's huge. He's a monster. Um, our defense is going to be scary to play against. So next pick here, guys. Round number eight. Um, Nightfist is on the Sharks now, of course. We could take him. Same with Zuccarello. On the Stars. Lee. So, 
some good forwards, goalies. Let's let me see what's available. Um, so yeah, Halak's probably the guy we're gonna go with. Maybe wait till like round ten or something. I, he wouldn't be a terrible starter, especially if we do have a really good defense in front of him. Um, so you know what? Let's go. I think I want Nightfist. Obviously, I'm a Red Wings fan. Anders Lee though is really versatile. Um, I'm not sure who'd be gone next. Lee's a year younger. Let's go Anders Lee just to switch it up. Um, he's a really good kind of two-way guy, so I think he probably fits better um, on the second line. Honestly, if we can get like another 84 forward in this next round, I think our top six can be looking very solid in terms of forwards. Uh, so Nightfist is gone now. Thornton's still there. He'll be there for a while. He's 39 years old. Kane's still there. He's got a bad contract. Patch Reddy. Um, could go with probably both of those guys because Patch Reddy ends up getting extended. It's not the greatest. Tom Wilson wouldn't be too bad, especially for like uh, that bomb six. Palat's still there. Not a lot of D-man though, eh? Eric Johnson. We might have to take him right now. We have three defensemen. He would fill out the top four pretty nice. Um, I'm just basically always checking the goalies. Halak's still there. I said round 10, so I'd like to take at least a couple more guys. Lots of forwards available, not a lot of defensemen, so I think for that reason we're taking Eric Johnson here. Solid top four. As long as we have like two high 70s um, on the uh, bottom pair, we should be okay. And then hopefully we can get one of those 84s here, like I said. Joe Thornton's going to be available for a while, I think. Yeah, he's still there. A bunch of them are actually gone now. So Palat, Everly, both those guys we could take. Steen. Um, Palat's a year younger than Everly. Let's take a look here, though, at the stats. I'm wondering... So puck skills, four and a half. Everly's is sick. Um, he's also got the better shot there, too. Um, I think Everly's the better player, honestly. So, you know, we'll give him another shot here in the playoffs. Obviously, he got traded uh, by the Oilers because he didn't perform well in the playoffs. We'll see here if he can perform for us. Also, I just realized that was round 10. I thought it was round 9. Are you kidding me? Halak just got taken a pick before ours. So, that is not good. Um, let's see. What's available? Luongo. Grice, okay, so that's not terrible. If we could get like him and Gudobin, decent tandem. Uh, Richet potentially could even grow. I think I think we're just gonna wait though. I think we're just gonna keep stacking this team and hopefully we can make a run here with a lower rated goalie. Uh, Thorne's gonna be available for a while. Brock Nelson's not bad. Alex Steen. What do we have for forwards? We still need six more. So let's go. Obviously, side cap doesn't matter for the uh, fancy drafts. So let's go Alex Steen, I guess. All right, guys, so this pick here, don't want to risk it anymore. We're going to take Joe Thornton. Um, he's still there. He's 84 overall, another Shark player. I think that was our 12th round pick. Now, I noticed there's, like, no defense available. Also, wow, Red Wings took Halak from us. They also took uh, Edward Vlasic. Just getting all the guys uh, I wanted to take. So, defense. Goligoski on the Coyotes. We can't take him. Cronwell, we can't take. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's defense is not for a while. Boychuk, we could take. Seabrook, we can't. Coburn we could. Same with Cole. Okay, so we'll wait till it's like 81, which means right now we're just going forwards. Uh, so Tyler Bozak's available. Derek Broussard. Uh, Craig Smith. Patty Marlowe. Do we take a goalie right now maybe and not risk it? The two 83s got taken. Are you kidding me? Craig Anderson's on the uh, Senators. Can't take him. Koskinen on the Oilers. We can't take Miller. Hutton we can't take. Schneider we can't take. Neuwirth we can't take. Chad Johnson's on the Ducks. James Reimer. Cam Ward's on the Blackhawks. Kerry Lettinen's a free agent. So the best goalie we can take right now is Mike Smith, I believe. Unless I'm missing one of these players, I'm pretty sure the best goalie we can now take is Mike Smith. I shouldn't have taken Arvidsson over Rene. That was uh, that was definitely a mess up. Um, wow, we could take Mrazek as well. Uh, so probably just wait on both those guys. I don't know, we're already in round 12. We're only going to do the first 20 rounds. Probably wait till like round 15. I can't believe like these teams just keep taking goalies, I guess. Um, so let's go Derek Broussard, I guess. I feel like just a good playmaker. You can play him on the wing, play him at center. Um, again, we're basically just stacking this team as much as we possibly can. And the goal is definitely going to be like the kind of wild card effect for this team. Um, hopefully like, you know, we have a good enough defense. That's why I want to get, make sure I get a couple of those 81s. Um, so Patty Marlowe is here. Justin Williams. I feel like we need Mr. Game 7 here. Plus Marlowe's 39, so he should be available still for a bit longer. I would be pretty sick actually to bring Marlowe back to the Sharks. Uh, maybe have him playing with Thornton on that third line. Uh, so next round's going to be round 15. We'll take a look at the goalies. As long as there's a ton of 81s available, we should be um, okay in that regard. And, okay, there's a decent amount. Um, it's not looking the greatest, though. Let's see, is Mrazek still here? Mrazek's gone. So Mike Smith, um, Aaron Dell, kind of the options there. Not great. <laughs> Not great at all. Oh, man. That's like a couple rounds. I mean, Halak literally one pick before us. Like, 
what are the odds? Um, so, could go Boychuk there, give us a nice defenseman. Um, I think we'll go Boychuk, because salary cap doesn't matter. Next pick, we'll go Marlow. And then pick after that, probably going to take Mike Smith. Um, assuming he's still there, like, I don't know, I feel like some of these teams, Bernie just got taken, actually, but I don't care. We're going Patty Marlow here. We're just stacking this team. Obviously, we, if we should have good enough forwards and defense to kind of carry the goaltending, and sometimes... You can have like a low 80 goalie that just goes off and then obviously grows the next season. So, pick 17 here. Finally, taking a goalie. Please, Mike Smith's there. He's like the second one. So, yeah, we have to take him. Um, after him, I don't even know who we're going to take because some of these guys are in the AHL. So, I guess it's in the AHL. I don't know if they count or not. We'll say they don't make it tougher. 81 overall. I mean, he should really be our backup, but uh, that's okay. Team's pretty stacked. So we only need actually one more forward, one more defenseman, and a goalie. Um, so because Smith's only an 81, let's actually go back to back goalie picks here. Um, let's see. So Lennon's a free agent, technically not on the Stars. Um, Ward's on Blackhawks. Minnesota, Ottawa, Mason's a free agent. Hutchinson is on the Leafs, actually. They traded for him, right? So take Hutchinson there to be our backup. And then we have two more picks, one forward, one D-man. All right, guys, so second last pick here. Uh, doesn't really matter if it's a forward or D-man, just kind of best available. Bo Meester here's an 80. Obviously, he's on the Blues. Girardi's on Tampa Bay, so... Could probably get one or the other um, with our next pick, in which case, see if there's any forwards available. All the forwards are 80 as well. Um, Andrew Ladd, I mean, gives us like a power forward element, I guess. Um, can't take Byron. Could take Perot as well. I think he's pretty quick. Um, 88 speed. What's his face off stat? 80, so it could play on that winger or center. Spets is down to 83 speed. Now he's pretty slow. So you know what? Let's go Perot. I think he's a really good uh, fourth line forward for us. And the next pick, hopefully, will just be either Bowmeister or Girardi. I mean, both are pretty old, so I mean, a team might take them. Uh, neither of them are that great of contracts, though. So hopefully, one's available here. Uh, finish up this draft. And Bowmeister and Girardi both are. Let's see here. Just, I'm probably going to go with best defense awareness and speed. Bowmeister's 87 speed, 85 D awareness. Like, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Girardi there is slower. So yeah, we'll go Bowmeister. I think he's solid. So... We'll hopefully be able to have a good enough team to carry the goaltending. Obviously, we knew it was a risk passing on Rene that one round for Arvidsson. And then we just got completely unlikely when Red Wings took Kalak one pick before us. Um, I feel like Kalak would be at least a decent starter. So, um, curious to see kind of what this lineup's looking like. And then, obviously, we get started with the Sim and hope for the best. Next, you guys, going to look at the roster. Honestly, kind of surprised to see the team stats there is champion. I thought, like, our goaltending would be too low rated, but uh, apparently not. So, um, forward group, obviously, is stacked. First line here, we have Ovechkin, Bergeron, Arvidsson. Second line there is Everly, Pavelski, and Lee. Uh, third is Steen, Thornton, and Marlowe. Like I said, I wanted Thornton and Marlowe reunited. Pretty cool, obviously, too, uh, that we are the Sharks and doing that. Uh, Williams, Broussard, and Perot there on the fourth line. So the forward group is solid. Uh, defense, you got Bufflin, Burns on the top pair. Uh, Johnson and Char on the second, with Bomeister and Boychuk on the bottom pair. So again, very solid decor as well. Goaltending is really the big question mark for this team. Mike Smith is a starter. Hutchinson backing him up. Like, hopefully the team's good enough to carry those two. Obviously, we're going to find out. Uh, quick look here at the power play. Obviously, it's pretty solid. I didn't realize that we have mostly right-handed forwards. Hopefully, not too big of a deal. Four-man power play there. Uh, penalty kill. Three-man penalty kill. Obviously, two of the best there in Bergeron and Pavelski. Like, Bergeron here has 95 face-offs, 94D awareness. Uh, Pavelski there, 85 face-offs, 87D awareness. Like, Two of the better kind of two-way forwards in this game. So I think between that, Ovechkin can score, some good forwards, good playmakers. Like you pretty much have everything covered except for goaltending. So uh, we'll find out, I guess, what's going to happen there. Um, in terms of captain C's, I've got Ovi obviously wearing the C, our top pick. Uh, Bergeron and Burns wearing the two A's. Um, also here I'll show you guys the offense, defense, and goaltending ratings. Um, also I'm going to compare it to the Ducks here. So um, sim through the preseason. We actually did not as good as I hoped. We went 4-3, and three, although... Preseason doesn't really matter, like, none of the teams are icing their best lineups, and yet still, you can lose to an absolutely terrible team. So, 96 offense is solid, 95 defense, 86 goaltending. So, I mean, compared to the Ducks there, you probably have, like, a decent team. Four higher offense, five higher D, and then, of course, six lower goaltending. Um, the defense, though, being 95, obviously, is going to help out. Hopefully, less shots on net, but... Uh, We'll get started with the sim now. Like I said, should be fun and uh, hope for the best. And we just got to try out here, guys. So the Montreal Canadiens want to give us Lucas Spiza for a second and seventh round pick. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, so I'll talk about it right now. I feel like if a team makes us a trade offer that includes playoff team players, we're allowed to accept it, but we can't go and make offers. Now, 
Spiza was on the Islanders, really didn't play much this year. 80 overall, so he's the exact same as Bumister, so just going to say no, but if a huge trade comes in, like some team wants to give us Nathan McKinnon for four first-round picks, I think we're allowed to say yes to that. Um, obviously, doubt that's going to happen, but you never know. Also, guys, just wanted to say our team's doing really well right now, 17-5. and five. Um, I'm happy so far. I'm just going to trade off here, guys, from the Philadelphia Flyers. Want to give us England in a third for our second-round pick. Um, I forget what England's rating is. If it's like 81, that's worth doing. 79 or 80, it's not. He's a 79, so yeah, we're going to say no. Obviously, Bowie is our worst defenseman at 80. So the player we're getting back has to be better than him. Otherwise, no point. All right, guys, so this team is absolutely insane. We're at the deadline right now with a record of 48, 11, and 4. Um, so what is that? Like 102 points, I think, at the deadline. Um, we're crushing it. Or no, I think that's 100 right on. Yeah, it's 100 right on. My bad. Um, so we are insane. Coyotes there in second with 71. I mean, 100 points at the deadline. Are you kidding me? Like... I think we're on pace for one of the best seasons ever. Ovechkin there, 63 points in 63 games, 34 goals. Hopefully he can make a run to the Reese's Shard Trophy. Um, obviously going to hope this team keeps it up. Like, they're tearing it up right now. Apparently goaltending does not matter. Um, let's see what happens here in the next month and a half. All right, guys, we were on fire, and then something happened at the deadline. Not sure what. Uh, we finished the record there, 56, 20, and 6, which obviously is a really good year, but we should have finished way better than that. Um, after the deadline, we were okay at first, and then all of a sudden... Um, started here the 8-3 loss to Vegas. We actually ended up going on a five-game losing streak. I guess Vegas just like destroyed the morale of this team. And then we finished the year on a three-game losing streak. We did lose an OT to the Avs, but still three losses in a row. Not a good sign here entering the playoffs. Hopefully at least still have like the uh, one seed. And we do. I mean 118 points. Pretty ridiculous, but should have been even better than that. Um, over there, 77 points, 82 games. So just shy of point per game. 45 goals. Hopefully that's enough for the Mr. Shard. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, if he won it, usually he does. It'd suck if like he finally doesn't when he's on our team. Uh, Bergeron there, 68. Pavelski, 65. Ford put up 64 as the third line center and like second line center on the uh, sec or second second unit power play center. So pretty good for a 39 year old. Lee had 60. Same with Burns. So I mean, teams put up a lot of points. Arvidsson only had 57 playing first line winger. Honestly, he should have done better than that. Everly 54. So I mean. This team was scoring quite a bit. Definitely uh, cannot complain about that. Goaltending, let's see. Hutchinson, 39, or sorry, Smith, 39, 16, and 6. Six shutouts, 0.915, 2.33. So Hutchinson's stats, slightly better, both save percentage and goals against. Now, a lot of the times it is the case for the backup. I think they get the better matchups or something. 17 and 5. He actually played quite well. Uh, neither of their stats changed there. And I think Arvidsson's really the only guy on our team uh, that could have grown. So. Let's see, entire league here. Kane led in points, 94. Um, where's Ovechkin? So there's Ovechkin, 77. Right at the bottom, 45 goals is enough. Okay, so we have the Rooster Shard Trophy winner. Goudreau also at 45, but they have Ovechkin ranked higher here, so hopefully he's got the tiebreaker. Um, also, we'll check the uh, stats now and see if we did finish uh, first in the entire league. Um, obviously there, Vegas gets in with 88. So there's some not too great teams. And we do finish first in the league. That's awesome. Detroit there actually got second. Tampa third. Ottawa fourth. Okay. Uh, six teams, 100 plus points. Let's see who the worst team was in the playoffs. The Winnipeg Jets, 88. Vegas, 88. Nashville, 87. 19th in the league. Are you kidding me? Kind of a strange uh, playoff scenario there in the West. And last actually was Calgary, 63 points. That's a rough year. So another thing I wanted to check actually with our team was just um, our goals for and goals against like total. As, like I said, I'm wondering how much of the goalies played a factor. So, led the entire league in goals for 270. And goals against, we're actually second best there with 190. So, the team is sick all around. Um, we'll see who play here in the first round of the playoffs. Um, obviously, <laughs> hopefully we don't get like swept or something in the first round. But, you never know with the sim. So, the first round, guys, we're up against the National Predators. Uh, our team's definitely better than theirs. Bailey, Backstrom, Kaji is their first line. Kind of weird having Kaji on the wing. Sprong's an 80. They have him on the second line. I mean, this team, they got 70s on the fourth line forwards. Have him though on D. Ah, uh, that's it though. Like, their defense, they have a 74 Bouchard up in the NHL. Carter Hart's obviously a very good goalie, young. So their team's probably like a lot more young players with potential. They're not trying to win this year. Just trying to build a franchise for the future. Our team, of course, our team's just building to win now. So, uh, we'll see what happens here. First round against the Preds. Again, we should be able to win this thing. Win the first game there, 2-1. Second game, 6-3. So, we're going to win back-to-back in Nashville. Could sweep them here. And we do win the third game, potentially. There we go. I uh, got the sweep against Nashville. 
So at least we move on to the second round. That's good. And in the second round here, guys, we're up against the Anaheim Ducks. Obviously, the team we were comparing ourselves against early on. So pretty good first line. Schwartz, Point, Kovalchuk, um, Ehlers, Coyle, Perry. Bomb 6 is a lot of 70s. Uh, Nail Yakubov's there. I totally forgot to remove him after the uh, first round pick team, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, Dalene, Hamilton. I mean, their defense is okay. Obviously, ours is better. Hellebeck's a good goalie. So, it's not a very good team. Like, that was a lot of mid-80s in their top six, a lot of 70s. Basically, they're going to have to hope that Hellebeck absolutely carries them through this series. Should have the advantage. Um, also, as you can see there, they actually went seven games in the first round. Uh, not sure who they play. We'll obviously know at the end. Win the first two games, though, of course, in San Jose. Uh, this is also a battle of California. Hopefully, we can win it. And we do sweep the Ducks as well. Okay, so back-to-back -back sweeps. 8-0 so far in the playoffs. Pretty happy with the results so far. And the conference final, guys, are up against the Vegas Golden Knights. Obviously, San Jose got the better of them in real life. Uh, they did, though, start our losing streak there at the end of the season. Beat us 8-3. Hopefully, we can get some revenge here. Uh, Kyle Connor, Austin Matthews on the first line. With fast, though, it's only an 80. Um, second line there, though, is pretty solid. Again, their team, they have a few high 70s in the forward group. Defense, they got Subban, uh, Subban and Dumba sorry, on the top pair. That's sick. Um, honestly, their defense is one of the better ones I've seen. Goaltending, Bennington's an 84. It's not bad. Obviously, better than us. Malcolm Subban back him up, so it's kind of sick. They have the Subban brothers on uh, Vegas. So, uh, again, I like our chances. To, obviously, our team's better on paper. Ovechkin there, 11 points through 8 games, tearing it up. Um, also, I'm pretty sure, too, I saw Vegas went 7 games in both their first rounds. Yeah, they're 8-6. and six. So, let's see what happens here. Hopefully, we can keep this going. And we win the first two games in San Jose. That's awesome. Can we get back-to-back -back sweeps here? Heading to Vegas now. They do give us our first and second loss. Uh, fourth game, there was an OT. We need a big win here. Coming home. Come on. Okay, so we lost that game at home. They ended up actually winning three straight, but it's all tied up now. Three to three. We had not lost a game yet. Come on. Pull out game seven here. In home. At home. Are you kidding me? Losing seven there to the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, I guess in real life, San Jose had like the greatest comeback. One of the greatest comebacks ever to win in game seven. In San Jose as well. I mean, I feel like we got robbed. 3 2 loss, 2 1 loss, 2 1 OT loss. That sucks. And the draft results are in, guys. As you can see there, Alberta showing up. Uh, Calgary first overall, getting Jack Hughes. Edmonton second, getting Capo Caco. Um, also, you notice there, Anaheim and Ottawa's picks. Um, I thought I set it to classic for draft picks, so somehow it got turned back to authentic, but it uh, doesn't really matter, I guess, for fantasy drafts, especially when it's only the one year. And as you can see here, pretty surprising. Ottawa Senators are Stanley Cup champions. That would definitely only happen in a fantasy draft. And of course, they played Vegas in the Stanley Cup final, which is kind of awesome. Imagine like Stone seeing Ottawa in the Stanley Cup final. You'd be like, what the heck? Uh, so Ovechkin there, over a point per game in the playoffs. He showed up. Bergeron played quite well. Sam Pavelski, Lee, pretty good. After that, everyone's kind of putting in about a half point per game. Let's see how Mike Smith did for us. 11 3 and 1, two shutouts. I mean, he showed up. 0.936 save percentage, 1.64 goals against. I and mean, we lose that Vegas team. I mean, I guess Jordan Bennington is just that good. Smith's stats are insane. Like, 8-0 the, through the first two rounds. I still can't believe uh, we lost to Vegas. Like, what a heartbreaker. Especially the 2-0 series lead. Um, so, after Vegas beat us, they actually lost to Ottawa 4-1. to um, Let's see. So, Vegas went through Chicago 7, Winnipeg 7, of course, Austin 7. Um, Ottawa there, Tampa Bay 7, Detroit 7, Capitals 5, and then Vegas in 7. Or, Vegas in 5, sorry. So... I don't know, I guess, you know, anything can happen in the sim. We got close, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. Um, so we did win the President's Trophy. A goal away, or I guess like an overtime away, whatever you want to say, from the Clarence S. Campbell. That kind of sucks. Player awards here. Kane got the Art Ross, we know that. Um, Malkin actually got the Hearts. Brent Burns got the James Norris, so that's kind of sick. Uh, there's an extra player award I didn't think we'd get. Patty Kane, Lady Bing. Peterson Calder. Bobrovsky, Con Smythe. Um, Anderson with the Vesna. Rene got the William Jennings. I still think maybe if we would have taken him over Arvidsson, our team would have been even better, but our team was pretty good, so hard to complain. Uh, John's there, Bill Masterson, Getzlav with the Selkie, Malkin also got Ted Lindsay, and Ovechkin, of course, with the Maurice Richard. So, I mean, we really can't complain about this season. Like, we had the best goal scorer in the league, the best defenseman. Uh, we finished the best in the regular season, you know, a goal away from the uh, Stanley Cup final. It was a good year, all in all. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Um, obviously, won the cup. I uh, couldn't make it happen, but it was close. If you guys did like this one, leave the thumbs up. Also, guys, as I mentioned, uh, tons of videos planned for this week, obviously, to make up for last week when I was gone to Vancouver. So stay tuned for those. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.